she's killing AL. Help! Help! Moving like the speed or something. Hey guys, welcome to the Angry Owl cooking show. Today we're gonna make up a fresh batch of fish food for the tank. All right, so these are the components that I use uh, for it. Uh, I have to take some kari brine. Uh, there's three packs here. Then we have some peamycis. This is gonna be two pounds of shrimp. I'll have to peel those, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, then we have a cod filet. Some fish eggs or masago, same thing. Some clams, those are a pain in the ass to get it open. And then we have some uh, scallops there as well. First thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, prep the shrimp and then I'll show you guys what I do in terms of chopping everything up and getting everything ready. Here I have all the shrimps, they're all peeled up. <clears throat> and then I have a bucket of RODI water. And this is why you rinse it. Okay, now that the shrimp is ready to go, right before I put it in the blender, I'm gonna grab those packets of brine and mysa shrimp, and I'm gonna put them in here. Okay, now that all those are popped in, in there, we can move over to the blender, and then I'll just put in a handful or two of the shrimp. And then I'm just gonna hit pulse on here until it's to a consistency that I like. Chopping up the shrimp in the food processor here, it's a very fine line between uh, turning it into a mush and you know having uh, you know good sized pieces in there. Um, this is pretty good. Uh, this is pretty good consistency here uh, for for my fish. You'll just have to take into account the size of your fish's uh, mouths and things of that nature. Um, and you know, you'll have a variety with this food, you'll see a variety of different sizes here. Okay, uh, next we're gonna do the cod filet. Uh, I don't know if I called this sea bass earlier. It's not sea bass. Before I go ahead and start slicing it, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it the same way. Okay, so I haven't used uh, cod before in in this recipe. I'm not sure if I want to just slice this up into small pieces or if I want to potentially put this into the food processor. Always when you're cutting something, uh, cut towards you. Don't cut away. I'm going to try uh, this piece. I'm going to put it in the food processor and see what we get. So... This is a couple pulses in the uh, food processor there, and this looks like pretty good sized chunks to me. Maybe even a, a little, a little finer. Okay, now it's time for uh, my personal favorite, uh, the scallops. I just find it a struggle every time that I make this food to have to cut up these scallops and then give it to fish. So with the scallops, I don't put them into uh, the food processor because they just end up getting really, really mushy. Uh, and I'm gonna get a better knife. 
So when it comes to the scallops, I just try to uh, chop them up, uh, you know, as, as fine as I can. Here's about what I'm looking for in terms of consistency. And I'll just do this uh, however many times this is. Oh, look at that. That was out of focus, that whole. So if I didn't mention it earlier, uh, I have two pounds of shrimp, four packets of the Hikari between the brine and the mysis, a pound of uh, scallops here, and the cod filet was a pound as well. Okay, so uh, you can see it's starting to come together. Um, what I have to do next is one of the worst parts, and that is these clams and shucking these bastards. Clams, I believe, is um, one of those really essential things for, for fish to, to have. If you look up a clam natural nutrient contents, uh, it's not a lot of meat, no, but uh, the amount of protein and the other vitamins that it has in there is extremely rich. So that's another thing as well. If I had some on hand, some vitamin enhancer, I would use it, but I don't have any on hand, so uh, we won't be using it. But this food is uh, plenty wholesome enough where you don't need those additional uh, vitamins and, and such like that. So for me, I'm not very good at uh, shucking these things. I probably should get like a an actual tool to do it, but we just kind of go uh, barbaric here and, and see what it, what works. Normally. Normally I find it pretty hard to actually get into to the lips here. So there's this little spot on the back usually. And I'll take my knife and, and kind of stab through there. Normally that will help me pry it open. If anyone knows an easier way to open these, put it in the comments. Okay, I finally got the first one open. clams now I could blend these guys up now these are the fish eggs just throw in whatever feels right this feels right uh, yeah and hopefully by this time in your process those cubes that you put in at the start are nice and melted oh, oh yes feels so so nice It's a seafood medley. <laughs> no, I bet this shit would be amazing. Put a little, uh, I don't know, oh, maybe soy sauce all on it. Up like that. No, you put in some noodles and oh shit, and you're good. Like seafood medley. Seafood. You eat fish eggs. Seafood delight. Who cares if they're in here? You won't even notice. <laughs> You get some soy sauce, maybe some General Tausch sauce. I mean, any kind of sauce you want to put on here. The seafood medley. It's good. This guy made it through processing. <laughs> I don't know how he made it. Found not even a cut on him. Okay, and you're just going to want to stir this until um, your arm is tired or you pass out. Whichever comes first. For me, that's my arm is tired. Once you have your seafood medley mixed up, um, you're gonna wanna get some of these Ziploc bags. Ziploc is not a sponsor. Um, I just really like their products. Uh, then we're gonna put the um, seafood medley in here and uh, squish it down a little. Oh, 
looks maybe good. Once you get it um, to where you feel like it's maybe good, that's an exact measurement. You can just turn it over like that and you can squeeze out all the air. Make sure there's no food in the way. Squeeze out all the air. Zip lock it up. You're looking for that nice crisp snap. Then you give it some love tap to flatten it out. A little bit of air still in here. Let me see if I can show you guys about how thick that is. Uh, maybe a quarter inch or so. We'll go ahead and throw this right into the freezer. You want to work fast before it all you know falls back down to the bottom or something. If you're not as fast as me, you might just have to give it love taps in your freezer instead. All this food should last me maybe three months, two months. Somewhere between two and three months. Somewhere between now and when it runs out. Okay, it's been like a week now. I was supposed to do this the night of making this food, but I'm really lazy. So now it's in a nice frozen block, and we're gonna go ahead and cut it into some nice cubes. We have our other new bag right here. And just cut this into whatever size cubes you feel comfortable with. So when you're actually like cutting through the block, I like to kind of start a little bit more on the ends, of course, and then kind of create my line of where I want it. You work your way to the end here. Kind of get it to start going through already. Go to the other side. Do the same thing. And just work your way on down. There's a cube. There's a cube. Go ahead and speed up the rest of this and then I'll go ahead and close out the video. Okay, all the cubes are made and this video is just about done. Uh, so I made this on the 13th, it's the 19th now when I'm filming this. Um, Need some fish food, two pounds of shrimp, one pound of cod, one pound of scallop, one pack of fish eggs, three packs of brine chip shrimp with uh, spirulina, one pack of mysis, one pack of clams. Um, we had three zip blocks in total that we filled, and just by eyeing it, I was able to get the weight actually pretty close. Um, they were uh, one pound, 9.3 ounces, one pound, 13.1 ounces, and one pound. 8.8 ounces, so um, I'm just really good at this. Total, four pounds, 15 ounces, which comes out to about uh, five pounds total, 16 ounces to a pound. The cost was around $70. Um, if you were to take cost uh, savings into account, a uh, thing of like LRS or Reef Frenzy, whatever it is, that's an eight ounce uh, block for, what, 20 bucks? So uh, you're gonna need about 
10 of those or so to equal this amount of food, something along those lines. Um, so that co would cost you around 200, so uh, this is about half the cost really. One thing I forgot to add was nori. I remember that, of course, after I was done and everything was frozen. And then next time I just made a note that I want to add a vitamin booster. And uh, don't comment on any of my notes here. Freaking jerks. And there's uh, my alkalinity and phosphate on the 16th. So uh, with that said, that's how you make some fish food. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.